Mel C. has made it clear that, unlike her former Spice Girls bandmate Victoria Beckham's husband David Beckham, she would never strike a deal with Qatar to promote the 2022 World Cup. Mel C., 48, has firmly shared her views on teaming up with Qatar after her pal David Beckham's decision to take a reported $10 million pay packet for promoting the host country of the 2022 World Cup. She insisted that she would be much too uncomfortable to perform in the country due to its human rights reputation, exclaiming, I am an ally to the LGBTQ plus community. It's not something I would feel comfortable in doing, the former Spice Girls singer explained. People want to go over there and help to make a change. Each to their own, but it would be a no from me if the offer came, she added to the Daily Mail. Meanwhile, Although she considers David, the husband of her former Spice Girls bandmate Victoria Beckham, to be a personal friend, she doesn't agree with the idea of supporting the country. Mel is one of a growing number of celebrities who have publicly announced their disapproval of the country over reported human rights abuses. Migrant workers are alleged to have been subjected to unsafe working conditions, denied food, and even had their passports confiscated. The Qatari authorities have denied any wrongdoing, although reports have stated that there have been employee deaths during the building of the stadium. Meanwhile, homosexuality is illegal in the Gulf state and while the death penalty has never been exercised against a gay person, there is potential for the country to do so, something that has caused concern amongst football fans. Mel is considered a gay icon, despite identifying as heterosexual herself, and she has proudly accepted an award from Attitude this year which declared her an honorary gay. This is one reason that she feels so strongly about refusing to perform in Qatar, as the singer has a documented history of allyship towards the community. She voiced even stronger opposition to the idea of collaborating with the country when she spoke to Attitude magazine for a recent interview. Asked how she felt about FIFA's decision to hold the World Cup in that location, she blasted, it's greed, isn't it? They can try and spin it that they're there to make change, that sport can make change. But it's bulls asterisk t, it's about money.